We're ready. And We're more than ready. Go. Go. Let's well, go. you know. The, the air came the out of the balloon pretty fast on this season. <laughs> the good news is they don't have to worry about James Franklin going to <laughs> USC. Um, I, I'm thinking of like the, the, the most the most brutal losses in the in the history of this program while I've been around. I was going back to Neil Riddell because he, yeah. he's been a, longer than I have. And 60s Mark for Brennan. you and 50s for Riddell. <laughs> no, but I mean, it's it's the the one that I thought that I didn't think of. I think Frank Badani thought of it, or maybe maybe uh, Pat Prince is 34 to eight here against the Michigan, Michigan game, yeah. because it has all the qualities that this game had. There were expectations yeah. for this team. Michigan was a good Whereas team, Dave. The 04, the 04 team, yeah, but the 04 team, for instance, the 6-4 game, it wasn't a good team. No. And there have been other bad losses, but played by not good teams, like the 80, uh, the 84 team that lost to Nebraska yeah. was just totally outmatched. That was the defending yeah. Uh, national championship game participants. So, but this is a team that had expectations. They lost to 30, a terrible that, team. That thirty-four to eight. Yeah, yeah, and that's and then there's the other I'm difference. They that, lost. The, they this lost this to game a bad stands team. on its own, man. This team, yeah. this Illinois team, had ninety-three yards of offense at home two weeks ago, by, and Wisconsin just just killed them, smothered them. Yeah. And this should have been. I mean, in, in all honesty, I, I thought this game should have been nice and easy, regardless of the health. Sean Clifford. I'm stunned he played, quite frankly. He did play. He wasn't himself. And to me, the thing that, that stands out to me, Dave, is James Franklin and Mike Yersich never, no ever thought about going to the backups because yeah. Sean Clifford, after except for one drive, one one drive where he hit some passes, just couldn't, he couldn't function, he couldn't run the and ball. He, he got hit they, early. They, they never, they never, he got sacked on his first pass attempt. They never thought, they never thought about putting Roberson in. I, I just don't understand. I mean, if you're not going to put Roberson in against the Illinois defense, when are you ever going to use him? Yeah, I mean, they've, they've absorbed a lot of abuse from every running game. They can run the ball, but they can't stop the run. Uh, this is a bad team. It's, it's, I've, I've rated them at the bottom of the power pole for a couple of weeks now. But they had a rest, and that's what we talked about yeah. on the podcast. Is they did have a week's rest. So I actually considered, could Penn yeah. State lose this the game with is, Roberson? Yeah. Once Clifford was out here, I thought, well, he'll savvy the game to a point where they can win by a, yeah. a touchdown or two. But that didn't happen because he wasn't right, man. I don't care. We just talked to him. Yeah. He said it, it was no factor, his it health. Was a factor. But it was a factor. It was yeah. clearly a factor. He spent a lot. Yeah, well, he said he spent all day get, all week getting treatment. And it, there's definitely something in the, in the torso area that's, that's limiting him. I think he was wearing... Some wraps. He took some shots, and he could. He, and there were some times he actually went to the ground when he didn't take any shots. Oh, he was hurting. It was. It was just. Uh, it was a gallant effort. But at some point, as at some point, if you're the coaches, James said he gave him the best chance to win. But we never even saw what the other options did were. Did he really? Yeah. Because at Iowa, we did. That, that Roberson never really had a genuine chance yeah. to do what he can do. And yet, on the second drive in the second half, they they drove through a field goal. And he looked pretty good on A-gap keepers. Yeah. They could have done that against this team, don't you think? Yeah. I, I think he that might not be true, that Roberson, given a little confidence, might have given them the best chance to win. As as much <clears throat> as they as Clifford not being healthy hurt this team, the absence of P.J. Mustafer also showed up yeah. big time. I, I Dave, I don't know that I've seen a lot of 7-0 line, two tight end sets with one quarterback <laughs> and one running back. Is that 13 technique? Yeah, I, don't know, I don't know what personnel that is. It's like... <laughs> It's like 18 personnel, personnel or 17 I mean, yeah, personnel. Yeah. They ran that play so many times, and those two running backs really, really hurt Penn State. They didn't really have a lot of answers for it. And then we get to the bizarre nine overtimes, and I don't know what to say about the two-point tries. Penn State could have won it twice in overtime. Brisker dropped an interception yeah. that really would have set them up nice. And also, they tried the trick play with Tyler Warren to Sean Clifford, and he just wasn't ready for the pass. He threw it quickly, he's and they thinking, just couldn't convert. He's thinking about trying it. to score, and he's trying to, who knows what he feels, trying to stretch for the ball. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but would that have been deserving? No. No, no. Illinois deserved to win the game. Yeah. Illinois did deserve yeah, to win. They did. They did. And, and I think that the, the ending was just. No. So where does that leave this team going forward, man? Because... Let's look at the schedule, Dave. It's gruesome. How healthy is Sean Clifford going to be the rest of the it, way? It's, it's not going to be nice next Saturday and it's night. It's not just going to be at Ohio State. Yeah. They got Michigan coming in here. Yeah. They're at Michigan State. You know, it, it feels grim. It feels grim. It's, that's what I'm saying. The air goes out of the balloon so quick on one play. The Campbell sack of Sean Clifford really has just been, it's, it's just 
turn this, this season in a 180, Dave, and I, I don't think it's going to correct itself. They, they don't want to play their backup quarterback. If, they, if they're just going to play Sean, who's not 100% against these defenses, it's, it's not like he's not going to get hit. I mean, what's what's the what's the expectancy for him lasting the season? Yeah, I, I tend to, to try to think about the players in a game like this and how how hard and dispirited, how hard they played and how dispirited they must feel. Um, they're college kids, so I would I would ask people to just yeah. take it easy on them because they, they they probably weren't spiritually ready to play this game. It's Illinois, but they ended up playing their guts out and losing. And Kudos it's, to Illinois too for showing up after they get yeah. called out a little yeah, bit this yeah, week by Brett yeah, Bellamy. They did, they did, yeah. But yeah. I mean, it was it was a result that I just I didn't see coming. I know the fans didn't see coming on homecoming, but man, Illinois wanted this game I thought a little bit more they, they both teams played very hard but Penn State just couldn't get anything and I mean nothing going on offense except for one possession running game what was it a nine to one ratio 30 356 just, to 40 or something just, like we that we thought we talked at the start of the season about this being a really talented running back room they're not healthy but it's it's the O-line and the, the O-line was the O-line was supposed to be better and here we are again it's, anyway it's, it's not great man uh I can't feel promising about the rest of this season I think it's 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 grim. Grim is the word I keep coming back They did to. play hard. Kudos to that. Kudos yeah. to Sean Clifford as well because that guy had to be in a lot of pain today. And he, he, he played it the right. best he could, but it just wasn't and good And who, who made the winning pass? A kid that was only in Brandon the game. Peters. Brandon Peters, a kid that was – we ran out of Michigan and uh, and or got out of. I've Michigan. seen a lot of things in 20 years, Dave. I've never seen. <laughs> I've never, I've never seen never, a game like. Never this. seen. Like, I'm, we're never going to see it again. Yeah. Unfortunately, Penn State was on the wrong end of it. You no, know, I think a lot of people would not want to see it again. <laughs> anyway, that's it from yeah. Beaver State Insider.